Language samples are an essential part of our speech and language evaluation. My plan of action used to always be that I would go in, I would start with my formal standardized testing, and then I would do a language sample. Often I realized, boy, I wish I had done that on the front end because it gave me so much good information. I might not have even needed to attempt standardized testing in one of the languages had I done that language sample first. And I have now started doing these language samples on the front end of my evaluation because I want that information to help plan my evaluation. Uh, what you're gonna see in this video is me giving instructions to a child. She's a bilingual Spanish English speaker. I give the instructions in both languages and I give her the option of which language she starts with. That in and of itself is great information for us as we embark on the speech and language evaluation. Okay, Melanie, this is what we're gonna do. I am gonna, we're first gonna look through the pictures of this book and I, we aren't gonna use any words right now. We're just gonna think about the story, okay? And then when we get to the end, we're gonna flip back to the beginning and then you can use these pictures to tell me a story, the story that you see here, okay? ¿Y puedes hacerlo en español o puedes hacerlo en inglés? En español. En español, okay. So voy a decir otra vez lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a mirar los dibujos y pensar en el cuento. Y después vamos a empezar y tú puedes contarme el cuento en español o en inglés o cualquier lenguaje usando los dibujos, ¿ok? So, para empezar vamos a pensar en el cuento. And that's it. She told the story to me in Spanish and then for the next one I was able to prompt her to tell the story in English. So from the very beginning of the evaluation I had a really good sense of her command of English and Spanish and what I needed to focus on in the evaluation.